YouTube, welcome back. Curtis here, C3 Garage Media. So today I am uh, installing my new Deechworks 550cc injectors into Project IS300 Turbo. So uh, let me give you a quick uh, heads up on where we are at right now. So I've just removed the stock fuel rail. It's actually pretty easy to do. I I'm not going to show you guys the video of removing, you know, there's basically three bolts to remove the throttle body. Once you get the throttle body out of the way, you got to disconnect some vacuum lines. Got to move this, uh, this little secondary valve on the intake, butterfly. And then uh, what I recommend is label your injector clips as you take them off. I just went one through six going back. That way I can't mix anything up. Uh, the fuel rail itself, um, once I disconnected, there's one, two, and then a third bolt back there that's a little tough to get to, but I just used a, uh, let me see, a ratcheting 12 millimeter, and that seemed to work really well in that tight space. Um, so now what I'm going to do is kind of clean this area up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and put the new injectors in the stock fuel rail. Stock injectors actually don't look too bad for, you know, 135,000 miles on them. So I'm going to go ahead and set up to remove these and we'll be back in a second. To remove the stock injectors from the rail, it just takes a little bit of pressure. You want to take your time. Okay guys, so we have the new uh, Dishworks injectors installed into the rail. I'm going to install this last one. It's extremely important that uh, you lubricate the end of the uh, grommet. ahead and put the rail and injectors back in. Um, what I ended up having to do is set each injector into its port. Just note these injectors do not fit like a stock injector fits. They're a little loose in there. It relies on a compression fit. Um, long story short, I then finagled the fuel rail down into place in here and pulled each injector up to the fuel rail and uh, that seemed to allow me to get it in. I'm now going to go ahead using my ratcheting wrench here and begin tightening it down. Middle intake is back on. Just need to reconnect a couple vacuum lines. Everything else back here is good. Just need to set this in the in there, put the throttle body back on and we'll be done with the injector install. Okay guys, we are going to continue on uh, and uh, install the Dishworks uh, 300 fuel pump in the IS300. As you can see, I already got the injectors installed, the 550C gone ahead and pulled out the back seat this you just simply pull up on the front of the seat really hard and it pops those two tabs free I'm now going to access the uh, so the fuel pump is underneath this cover um, I've gone ahead and removed two of the nuts all you need is a 10 mil go ahead and pop this off be careful because uh, these are plastic they're very, very gentle, very brittle. And please make sure you have your battery disconnected.
does exactly. Take the uh, cap off. And this then exposes what we need to get after right here. So I got the stock factory fuel pump out. It was actually pretty easy. Uh, it was just basically pressed in to the bottom of this fitting here. And you just pull it out real snug. Put your bottom cap that comes off. I did take off the top cap just so I could get a, a look at my wiring here. Um, I'm not sure, but I may need to actually wire in the supplied clip unless this just freaking plugs in. Okay, so I have the uh, DW300 ready to go back into the casing. Now what I had to do, a couple things, is I did have to attach this filter basket to the bottom. Very easy, you simply just depress it down on the bottom. Then as this ring clip. I like to use a small socket and just use that to push the ring clip on. Works really well. Um, also, I did have to take this fitting, grommet, and spacer off of the filler neck of the factory fuel pump. This is so that the new Deech Works pump will fit up inside of here and connect into place. So, uh, pretty easy stuff. The uh, most difficult part of this install is going to be on this fuel connector for the uh, hat of the fuel pump. I am going to have to solder in my own connections, watertight. So that'll be fun. I'm going to go get go to the hardware store right now, get some uh, fittings that I can use to seal these up once I get them soldered on. So we'll be back in a little bit. So I've gone ahead and soldered my new connection onto the fuel pump hat. I'm going to go ahead and slide some heat tape some heat shrink tape around those connections. I'm just going to go ahead and sealed connections now. Okay, so I got my pump reinstalled. Basically we just slid it back up in there, connected the bottom cap, I then connected the new top connector which I replaced from this factory one. Everything clips back together in a nice uh, easy piece and uh, yeah. Now it's time to go ahead and uh, put this bad boy back. Reinstalling the pump is pretty simple. Um, I just went ahead and reconnected the fuel, the fill hose down at the bottom of it. We are going to go ahead and connect our... Went ahead and tightened up all the screws around. i got to put this little uh, clip back in. Connect our electrical connection here. Wait for this one. Put our nuts on and we're done. Fuel pump wrapped up today. We got our injectors wrapped up today. Really all I have to do to finish the install is I gotta get the downpipe on, get my O2 sensors lengthened which I'll do. Um, let's see, 
uh, put my wastegate on and then uh, we're on to our um, our boost FIC so yep I'm excited for everything else and uh, let me know if you guys want to see anything I do have some footage I haven't showed any comments I do appreciate those and I uh, hope this is helping you guys on your install follow along peace